nearly 1,300 children and teens. That's the number of victims that have been sexually abused over the last 20 years by their teachers or other school personnel, according to new research. In terms of the impact on children and families when this does happen, it is so incredibly corrosive and damaging. Um, it ruins lives. The study conducted by the Canadian Centre for Child Protection is the first of its kind in the country. It looked at sexual assault cases between 1997 and 2017 involving 1,272 students from kindergarten to grade 12. The research shows 714 teachers and other school staffers have been linked to sexual abuse charges, convictions and disciplinary actions. A lot of the risk lied with individuals who were extending and transgressing in professional boundaries to a personal relationship with children and gaining their trust from a personal place. Of the 714 school employees, 86% were certified instructors. The other 14% were other school personnel, including student teachers, special needs assistants, janitors, and bus drivers. What's even more disturbing is 138 of the offenders had other positions that provided additional access to kids, such as sports coaches, tutors, and community youth workers. This happened for sometimes under grooming, um, for to groom a child for the purposes of, of sexual access, some people took two years. So the relationship, can they take time, and individuals can take time to establish trust in relationships with children that can happen over a, a year, six months isn't not, is common um, before then they move it to a sexual place. The center says the purpose of the report is to provide recommendations to address the risk to children and teens. Some of these include schools making disciplinary decisions public in every province and territory, as well as training and educating school employees on sexual abuse prevention. We have a responsibility to then look at what are we doing and are we doing enough and what can we do better to make sure that this doesn't happen and that we are we are acting from an informed place to make sure that we are putting every system in place that we can to help prevent this from occurring. Now of the more than 1,200 victims, 75% were female and 25% were male. From Winnipeg, Cheryl Tosaskiw, City News.